So to decorate these rooms, I'm going to click on the furniture button over here. This gives us our furniture symbol sets. And you can see there's a whole bunch of interesting stuff. First of all, I'm going to put some beds in there. You can see that these are at the wrong angle, so I'm going to right click, I'm going to go set to normal. And again, I'm going to turn off my snaps, snaps so I can position them where I want them. Now this is going to be very dormitory style living. So I'll put bed, 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 and we better give them some storage. So we'll put a cabinet in along this wall here. Very utilitarian, but then again, this is a rapid uh, response scout ship. This area will be our kitchen slash living and washing area. So we better whack in a stove. They've even got a kitchen in the, uh, the makeup set, which is great here. There we go. Now I'm using the arrow keys to rotate that to the side I wanted. We'll put that in. Um, we'll put in a table. I saw a table up here. There's a conference table. That's going to be too big for us. Just a small table. Ooh, that's almost too big as well. Um, what we might do is just use a regular round table like this, but right click on it and drop the size down by about one quarter. There we go. So there's a dining table there. Um, we will also add in a bathroom facility in the other side. So let's go some sort of a, well there's a toilet. Again, let's set that back to normal. Can't scrimp on the size of toilets, that's for sure. I think we'll put that opposite the door there. We'll have our shower bay here. And we'll have a sink against that wall. So again, I'm going to hold the shift key to rotate that to the side I want. Wonderful. Yes, it's crowded. It should be. We don't want the military spending stuff on uh, on luxuries, do we? After all, that toilet seat probably costs 6,000 credits. Okay, in this section, I'm going to move down the ship a little way. Oops, I've moved down it a bit too much. There we go. I'll just edge up it a little bit. In this section, we're going to make it basically the weapons lockers. So, cabinet, Use the arrow keys to align it how I wish. Locker. 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 And across the other side we'll have the seating areas for landings. There's a bench. And we'll put two of them in. There we go. Fantastic. This area can be uh, an engine room, so I'm going to go to this area here where I've got the engineering systems. And I'm going to put in some sort of a strange contraption. Maybe not that one. Yeah, that one looks okay. And the actual engine of the system in this case it'll be a gravity drive, it can be this little contraption here. Terrific. Let's come out. So you can now see we've got at least this main deck of the ship fully rendered out. It still looks a little bit bland because we've got these big sort of engine blob things here which aren't really doing anything. Now I'm going to decorate those by clicking on this button here, the weapon systems. And I think what we'll do is we'll whack on some big sort of cannony looking things. There we go, that's a nice thing. We can whack something on the side of that. So let's just zoom in a bit. Uh, maybe not that one. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll put a blaster on that side. And if we come down a bit, last but not least, we'll be able to put one on this side as well. Let's bring it back out. Looking better. We probably can put something in the nose as well. Hmm. 
Yeah. Now I want that to be a little bit larger, so I'm just going to make that 1.2 in size, more. Perfect fit. And let's put on the back of the ship, let's put some um, thrusters. To do that, we can again go to the engineering systems. Oop, that's one. Perfect. Not quite big enough, so I'll click on it. I'll raise the scale up to say four. We'll rotate it around using the keys. That's just about right. Zoom out. Our ship's starting to look really good. Let's add some smaller thrusters onto those little winglets. We might actually use a little double thruster. Whoa, way too big, so we better drop that down to say 0.5. Even then it's too big, so we might drop it down to 0.25. That's about right, so we'll put one there and one there. Okay, so there's our ship. A very simple military scout ship uh, made in, in almost no time at all. I strongly recommend that you uh, start playing with um, Cosmographer if you're into sci-fi role-playing games. Um, you can actually take this map and very quickly put a grid over it, uh, whether that be a hex grid uh, or a, or a uh, one meter wide grid as you see fit, and then you can use it with your, print it out and use it with your miniatures. Um, if you're like me, I just like having nice uh, ship maps to hand to my players so they know what they're on and what cabin goes where. Really, the sky's the limit. With the symbol sets that come with Cosmographer, you've got basic symbols which I was showing you here, but if you click on the little plus symbol, you'll also see that there's color variants and so forth. It gives you a huge, a huge range to work with. So, um, you can see that if you change the colors, the, the um, trimmings on some of these change as well. So it's just a fantastic tool with a great deal of variety. You can create multi-deck ship plans very easily. Um, you can also create planet systems and so forth. All in all, a great tool and a lot of fun.